and it's now second down and five after running it on first down. He'll take the snap from the gun. Bell with the reception. Bell's marked down after a gain of four. The Lions do a good job that time on second down. They don't force the football down the field. They throw it short. They pick up some solid yards to make it a good situation for them. Third short. On the way, third down. Quarters formation here for the defense. Bell's got it on the handoff. He's tackled beyond the markers. It's a first down. Bell is able to get it done that time. Why? Because he has the power and the will to make it happen. Third short, he just gets it done with sheer willpower. They're able to move the chains after that last run. Stafford from the gun. Calvin Johnson with the catch. Johnson's marked down at the 34. Third catch today so far. This is one of those guys, when you talk about receivers, no matter what, he is always open. If the coverage is tight, don't worry. Throw it out there. He'll make a play. First down following the long play. Stafford's pass will be incomplete this time. Trying to get the defense a lot of... A lot of credit there, don't you, Jim? They are all over the receivers, all over the field, nowhere to throw it, and it just results in an incompletion. Second and ten. Looking long. And it's spotted away. That's what you have to do as a defensive back. you got to wait to the last second. Wait till the receiver uses his hands, and once they go up, put your hand in between them, and knock that football down. What a play. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. Stafford's going to take it from the gun. Snatches it with one hand. Well, if I was the quarterback, I would throw it to this guy every single time. When you make a catch like that, as a quarterback, you must have great confidence in him. We've hit the two-minute warning here in the first half. We're back, and we're coming out of the two-minute warning in the first half. The D-lines, they're seeing something on the offensive side. Everybody's shifting to the left. It's caught by Brandon Pettigrew. And that's a gain of 10. The Colts are hard to fool on the defensive side, especially when they're in the red zone. So that time, all over the offensive play call, they stopped the completion for no gain. Press coverage all the way. Looking across the middle for a gain of about five. They're just grinding away down here, inching closer to the end zone. Well, that's what you got to do sometimes. It's hard always to think that you're going to come out and just make big plays. You got to do the dirty work, and this offense is doing it right now. Bell's going to take the handoff now. He's averaging five yards per carry on the day. Bell is a dangerous runner when you give him room to run, but there is no room this time. What a job by the defense. They bottle him up for a short game. Second and goal at the two. Makes the catch. Touchdown. Hard to cover these tight ends when they get into the end zone because they're fast, they're nimble, and they're big. So even if you cover them, they push off and get the touchdown catches. The Colts are ready to return the kick. He's got a chance to return this one. And the tackle's made right around the 25-yard line.
the Colts have been firing on all cylinders offensively in the first half, and they find themselves in excellent shape as we near halftime. Oh, man, they are in good shape. I love what they're doing on the offensive side, and don't change anything. Go in there at halftime, pat those offensive guys in the back and say, keep it going. I think they will. He's now pushed past 120 yards rushing today. The Colts would love to run the ball like they have so far. Gore has been a huge part of it here in the first half, Phil, the way he's been running the football. Give the coaches a lot of credit right here. They're being very patient, staying with the running game, and the running back, boy, is he taking advantage of every opportunity. The Colts take it from the 33. Wants to go deep. Intercepted! Nice job of the defense that time. In position, they read the quarterback's eyes, and it led to an interception. The Lions take the field again on offense. They'll be looking for a repeat of their last drive. They came away with a touchdown and really had the defense on its heels. Well, it's going to be hard to repeat what they just did because it looked so easy and it was well done by their offense. And I think when you talk about situations like this, it really comes down to one thing. Can the offensive line continue to dominate? So many times when you drop a football in the NFL, a pass like that, it's... as we continue with the NFL on EA Sports. Thanks, Jim, and welcome to the EA Sports Halftime Report. I'm Larry Ridley. The Colts right now are doing a good job protecting their house. The Lions know it's always hard to come in and get a win on the road, but they're not out of this one yet. All right, here we go. Let's take a look at some of the highlights from the first half. Lions opening the game on offense. The pass will be completed into coverage, and this play will go for six. Lions with the early advantage. Lions have it midway through one. Stafford's under fire and will throw the pick. Butler's in position, and he's the one who comes away with the ball. All right, Larry, thank you for all of those updates. And now the teams are coming back onto the field, and we're about to get the second half started. Lions getting ready to kick it off. With this kick, the second half is underway. Aaron's running this one out. Gets out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. The Lions defense finds themselves trailing here, Phil, but a stop right out of the box to start the second half could swing the momentum for their side. It could, Jim. You know, at halftime when your team is losing, usually on the offensive side, they're going, okay, guys, let's do this and that. On the defensive side, it's all about yelling, give us more energy, play harder, be tougher. But well, that's what I expect from the defense right here. That's what you want to do, just get a first down, especially when you're on top. Keep the clock moving, keep the defense guessing, make them react instead of attack. The Colts from the 37, out of the eye, it's Gore. Quinn's in on the tackle. The Colts have clearly enjoyed being able to take the air out of the football when needed today. Gore has been brilliant, and he's shown no reason to stop giving him the football. Well, it's working well. Don't stop. The running game is hot. The offensive linemen feel the power. They love it. Just keep running right at it. He's chirp. He's in for the touchdown, but hold on a minute. There's a flag down. There's a flag away from the football. Oh, offense. That 
penalty is, of course, going to be accepted by the defense. First down, offense ready for the snap. Andrew Luck under center. First and 20. Flip to the outside. And Lawson's there to take him down. I guess you'd say he's like a quarterback. You can't complete them all. And this, this running back, he can't make every run spectacular. Nowhere to go. So only gets a couple yards this time. The Colts have it at the 39. Still not taken down. Lawson's there to take it down. Well, when you get the situation like this, Jim, and you get third and long, I'll tell you what catches a defense by surprise. Run a double move on the outside against the defensive back because everybody in the stands and the defensive players all think you're going to throw it short. Third down and ten. Aaron's handed the football. He's brought down. That's going to bring up fourth down. The Colts decide to go for a run here on third and long. And look, not second-guessing that play call, not fitting the playbook. In the passing game, they're going to pick up a first down. They go with the run. The defense is not fooled. And now they're going to have to punt. Ross has got it at the 11. Smith's there that time for the tackle. That return's good for about eight. down at the 19. Screen has his man. And they bring him down at the 33-yard line. Well, don't look at the scoreboards, which tells you you're down by a couple scores. Just concentrate on every single play and try to get another first down. First and 10. Bell takes it. Toss play. And this won't even get back to the line. They'll end up losing one. Second and ten coming up. The Lions from the 32. He'll throw it over the middle. And it's knocked down. Well, I think it's important for the defense anytime it's a third and long situation for the offense to know where those first down markers are, give a little ground, and make sure you're able to come up and make the tackle short of the first down marker. The offense now needs to pick up the first here on third down after that incompletion. Stafford's got it in the gun. Gets out to Brandon Pettigrew. Well, it's always a game of odds, isn't it, Jim? When you take situations like this, you're down by more than one score near midfield. The game, the end of the game is coming near. I think this is where you take a chance. And the odds are on your side. If you go for it, you should be able to make it. I think this is a no-brainer. Go for it, coach. And this will bounce into the end zone for a touchback. And there is Andrew Luck. And this offense hasn't really been all about his passing today. Instead, they've relied heavily on the ground. Yeah, listen, as a quarterback, you've got to enjoy these moments. It's not all about you. It's about the running game and just go with it. How were you when it came to these occasions when it wasn't all about you? Well, it's never about me. You know, I'm a team player, Jeff. That's just the way I am. I always sense it's about you. I figured it was the same way on the football field. <laughs> Luck's able to show off the footwork. Wow, what a good job. Look at those feet. Like a dancer. Gets himself in very good position to throw the football. The Colts have it at the 39. They'll go ground. And Gore is brought down. This time for six. Well, you can't knock them all down. And sometimes the running back has just got to break a tackle. Good job that time. Second and four coming up. The Colts have it at the 44. Luck handoff. 
tackles made and the first down is picked up. That was an awesome job by the running back that time, breaking those tackles in the NFL. The low man wins. That time, the running back was the low man. Andrew Luck under center. First down at the 47. Secures it with two hands. He's going to be tackled right around the 24-yard line. Luck selling his play big time. The defense, they go for the run fake, and that's why he has time to throw the football and makes the completion. Good job. Let's see how they back up the big play here. Throws it in the end zone. Touchdown. And now that we're almost in the fourth and they've just increased their lead, could it be time to rest the starters, Phil? Oh, no, Jim. Not even close to that yet. We've got a long way to go. You've seen it many times in the NFL. Big leads have a way of just disappearing, so... Uh, I don't, I'm not counting this one over by any means. They're setting up the return. And the tackle's made right around the 25-yard line. The Lions came out and ran the football with success, but that certainly has leveled off. Bell's had less space to maneuver as this game's gone on. Yeah, let's give the defense a little credit. They finally said, okay, we got to find a way to stop this running game. They changed the defense a little bit, and it's worked. Doesn't like what he sees on the defensive side, so he is changing the play to the receivers by giving him hand signals. Intercepted! Breaks at the tackle. Phil, and they'll be very pleased that we're nearing the final quarter so they can get this one over. You know, sometimes when you're losing like this and you're playing so bad, you, you just feel like you can't get the game over with. It's it's amazing how it just keeps dragging on, and man, this has been a bad day, and it, like you said, Jim, it just continues. The Colts have extended their halftime lead, and they haven't wasted any time in doing so as they continue to motor up and down the field. You know, this is what you got to do in this league now. When you got it, when it's going well on the offensive side, don't slow down, don't get conservative, keep it going, try to score points, and just dominate the other team. Jim, the offensive coordinator, has done a terrific job so far here today. He's got his team winning. You're in the red zone. Let's see how clever he's going to be on this call. Trying to beat the play clock. Catch made by Andre Johnson. Jim, the defense gives up the first down that time inside the red zone. But there's only so many things the offense can do. Let's see if they can hold them. Lux now completed four in a row. First and goal from the eighth. Out wide to Hilton. Almost intercepted that time. Things get tight down here in the red area. I got to give the defensive man a lot of credit, though. In position, sees the ball thrown, and is able to get that hand up there and knock it down. Second and goal from the eight. Goal. Trying to find an open to the right. Colts are in for the score. Your second touchdown of the game. Well, if you don't trust your offensive line, if you're afraid you're not going to make the blocks, the heck with them. Jump over everybody. What a job. One hops on that running back. Jumps right over. Gets the touchdown. The Lions are getting ready for the return. And can they return to a competitive state in this one as the game is starting to get out of hand? The scores 38 to 14. The Lions at this point are just trying to stop the bleeding as they come out for this drive, Phil. Whoa, I don't know if there's enough band-aids to stop all this bleeding, but look, you're looking for a moral victory, so the game is not over. Try to get some good here late to make you feel better and get ready for the next game.
Ryan Lowry is going to make the tackle. First down on the way. They're going to the hurry. Back to the line now. Will go ground. Bell is tackled down. He's now got 70 plus yards on the ground. Look at the defensive line shifting all down to the inside. They're pinching. They're expecting a run right up the middle. Bell's taking the handoff. He's averaging five yards per carry on the day. No time to huddle now. The Lions from the 22 gets it again. Another third down conversion. The offense continues to come through in the clutch. Holding offense. The defense accepts the penalty. Third down after the penalty. The defense gets the sack. Welcome back. We've got a blowout of the making. They're in punting formation. This punt will be returned. That's a gain of eight. The Colts' offense, Phil, is on a roll right now with touchdowns coming on each of their last two possessions. Can they make it three in a row right here? Well, we're going to find out. I like their chances. What have we seen that makes us think that they're not going to come out there and get it done? They're, they're playing exceptional football on the offensive side. First down at the 50. There's a flag right there. Good coverage by Quinn that time as the pass goes incomplete. Holding offense. The defense will take the penalty. Still first down. Quarterback, he's changing the play with the wide receiver with those hand signals. The Colts will take the snap from the 40. Luck gets it to Kobe Fleener. That's a pickup of 14. That's five receptions on the day. The Colts are in front thanks to their quarterback. Luck's been unstoppable so far. He has been unstoppable, hasn't he? And when your quarterback is hot, keep giving the football to him. They've done it and he has rewarded the coaches. When linebackers move around like this, you know what it means? Nothing confuses no one. The defensive end has the outside runs. That's his assignment, and he did it well. Takes on the tackle, beats his rear end up pretty good, and makes a tackle on the running back. At the 45-yard line. Third and five. Locked in on the football and has hold of it with two hands. I think the coach on the sidelines, he's going to be happy with every first down because he knows that's more time off the clock. When you're up like this, multiple scores in the second half, every first down just puts the odds in your favor of winning this game. Luck's completion percentage, 60% on the day. First down at the 38. Here's the handoff, and they'll run it. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt. When you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. Second down and five. Kobe Fleener comes up with a grab. Fleener's been the go-to tight end today, Phil, and really getting it done. Yeah, if you want a great passing offense, you need a tight end who can really force the defense to cover him underneath, and especially deep down the field, this tight end can do it all. Third down after the catch. Good job by the defense, all shifting inside. They're expecting a run up the middle. And he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. 
You know, as a quarterback, sometimes you got to trust that arm and throw the football past the first down marker. There were guys open, but no, he, he takes the safe route, throws it short, defense makes the tackle, and here we are staring at a fourth down. Oh, my gosh, what a design by the field goal unit. Well designed and executed perfectly. Nice job. Line of scrimmage is the 26-yard line. First down at the 26. Gore, left side. Gains 18. I think this running back just announced to all this football team and the coaches, I am fine after being injured earlier in the game. What a nice run. Picks up some big yards. First and goal from the eighth. Pass is intercepted. And no return as this goes for a touchback. Not a whole lot has gone their way today, partner, but at least they can say we didn't quit in the fourth quarter and made a play coming up with the interception. Well, you'd like to think, Jim, that you could just take that for granted that they won't quit. You know, that always amazes me. Oh, the team lost, but they play hard. Well, don't we expect them to play hard? You're good players. You're in the pros. You get paid a lot of money. You should play hard all the time. Surveys. And it falls incomplete. I think the coach has got to call more of these plays. That's a good job of at least trying to get the big play, but they cannot get the completion on that long throw. Stafford standing back in the shotgun, ready for the snap. Bell with the grab. Bell's met at the 37. There has been good pass protection for the quarterback all day long. He has not been sacked much, and he throws it there and gets another completion. I think these linebackers are moving around because they're going to try to blitz the quarterback. Matthew Stafford looking long. That ball has been picked off. Midway through the fourth, and the mood on that sideline, Phil, has to be one of tremendous frustration as they throw the interception. Absolutely, Jim. They have to be so disappointed. They had high hopes coming into this game. We talked to the coaches. They thought they would play well. Well, this is just one of those days when nothing went right for your side. You look at the numbers again, and really, both these tight ends have looked fantastic. Well, coming in today's game, Jim, I thought these were two really solid tight ends. I'm not sure anymore. They are working their way up the ladder. They're potential superstars. The Colts take it from the 23. And the give to Frank Gore. Wins there to make the tackle. He didn't get many yards that time on that run, but he's had a terrific day. When there's an opportunity to get some yards, he's been there to take advantage of it. Second and six. Andre Johnson on the deep pass. No one's going to get him now. The 10. Taking it all the way home for the touchdown. It's been over for a long time, Phil. But at least we wait until midway through the fourth quarter to declare it. Yeah, we've been thinking it for a while, but now we can see it out loud. And look, the losing side, look, you've got to go back and think about what you did in this game. The strategy, it was all wrong. And if you want to win another game, you better think and change what you're doing. Jones is just going to wave his arm here and make the fair catch. The Lions offense back on the field trying to make up for that costly mistake. The last time they had the ball, the turnover they committed immediately turned into points against them. Yeah, it did, Jim, but you know what? It's not a perfect game. you got to deal with adversity when you're talking about football. So you made that mistake. Let it go and go out there, be aggressive, and see, that's an interception. They bring him to the turf. It's not getting any better for the offense here late in this game as now they get picked off. 
the frustration and the bad play just continues. And, you know, it's so bad the coach can't even yell at the players. All you can do is pat them on the head and, and encourage them to keep trying. Lux tackled down after a gain of 10. All right, coaches, don't get greedy. Be decisive over there on the sideline. Do what's best for your football team. Keep getting those first downs and letting that clock just keep running. You got a big lead here in the second half. Don't take any chances. Picks up about two. Gore's never able to build up that power that he has as a running back when there's nowhere to go. Hey, there's nowhere to go. That's a short game. Second down and nine. Luck can't find the target. Incomplete. It's third down coming up. The quarterback motions the wide receiver. Third and nine. Outside now on the toss. Gains five. Chip shot here. And it's a fake. I like the idea that time. They had the fake field goal pass on. It had everybody fooled. But it's hard to throw that pass in a situation like this. Who's throwing it? It's not the quarterback. Uh, shame it didn't work. The Colts defense got the pick the last time on the field. Yeah, really nice call there in the game. That's how you manage it. That's how you get out of trouble. Make a good play call in the defense. They took it. Langford chases down the quarterback. Every defense is looking for somebody to hit the quarterback. And the best person to do it is the defensive end. What a good job that time by him. Second down, tough field position here. Stafford's alone in the backfield. Stafford's going to take the snap from the shotgun. Johnson's got the catch and the first. Two minutes remaining in the game and a first down play coming up. Two minutes to go in the second half. Just two minutes left of this one. We're back now for the end of the fourth quarter. Matthew Stafford backed off the line. Shotgun formation. Stafford's back in shotgun formation. Catch made out to Johnson. That's his fifth catch of the day. Playing press coverage to the outside. Even though you're getting blown out and it's late in the game, I do agree. Get in this hurry-up offense. Get some practice with it because you never know. Next week, you might need it to win the game. So try to get better at it and use it for next week. Stafford's got no one behind him. Just the quarterback waiting for the snap. Almost made the catch. But the collision jarred it loose. You gotta try to avoid this as a quarterback. Don't go off that back foot unless you have to. When you do, there's just no way you're gonna be as good if you had good balance. That time the throws off the mark at the line of scrimmage. The 41. Quarters formation here for the defense. Third and ten. And Davis can't quite pick it off. Let's give the defense a lot of credit. They got the offense in a third long situation, and the pass goes incomplete. The offense, well, you just got to do a better job not, not putting yourself in those situations. Offense back on the field here for this fourth and ten play. Stafford's ready for the snap, empty backfield. The Lions snap it at the 41. He's tackled right at the 31. And the way this game has gone, you just had the feeling the defense was going to make the stand right there. 
Yeah, dominating performance in so many ways today, but right there, you said it fourth down for the defense. Once again, to come through to be aggressive and make the play. An outstanding day all around for this football team. This will be second down. to the right taking off and he'll step out I think we've all heard the phrase sometimes you got to play hurt this running back hurt and taken out of the game earlier today has come back in and carried the football many times and showing everybody he is one tough guy luck throwing it long well I tell you it's getting ugly out here Impressive showing today, and it's almost on the brink of running up the score and creating some bad blood. What do you think, Phil? Oh, who cares, man? Rub it in, baby. Rub it in. When you, you're on top and you're winning the game, I say go for it. Rub some salt in that wound and let them know how much it hurts. The Colts defense can take a bow for its performance today. They're going to win the game, and it's because of this unit. Yeah, look, if they want to know how to take a bow, all they have to do is ask you, because you like to take bows whenever you get a chance. I'll take one right now. Okay. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. First down at the 18. Joy Bell has the reception. Bell is tackled down. That was a nice reception, but not enough for the first down. Second down coming up. Going to go to the hurry up with under a minute to play. And Calvin Johnson can't hold on that time. Well, sometimes if you have a talented receiver, you just got to put up in plays like that. He might drop a few, but when he does catch it, he can make a big play. The Lions from the 27. Complete to Calvin Johnson. The Lions signal for a timeout. They have two remaining. First down here. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Over to Pettigrew. Pettigrew's taken down at the 33. Sixth catch today so far. The corners are going to meet the receivers right on the line of scrimmage. Even though you get blown out, keep trying to score. Give your team some confidence. Make your players feel better. Try to push it down the field and get something done. Pettigrew's is unable to bring that pass in, Jim. He just took his eyes off the football. And when you do that, it's usually going to result in a drop. And those things happen. It's not a perfect game. You've got to overcome adversity. I think this guy will do it. Next time it comes his way, he'll make the catch. From the gun. And he's intercepted. Running room. On his way. The 10. And in for the touchdown. and return it all the way for a touchdown. Big 20, big 20. And it's a fake. So they give up the touchdown, but they do not allow the two-point play. Yeah, good job that time by the defense. So quick and so ready for that play. They reacted very fast. That's why they stopped it. He'll have a chance to take off. 
that's going to seal it as they will not get another playoff in time. Well, Phil, I enjoyed watching the game with you, and how about a final thought about that victory? Well, you know, Jim, I wish I could say the same that I enjoyed spending these last three hours with you, but that's just not the case. But, no, just kidding, of course. Nice win. they got to feel good about what they've done and uh, uh, celebrate a little tonight. I think I'll see you next week, maybe. For Phil Sims and all the crew at EA Sports, Jim Nance saying so long for now.
Hello, everyone. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. Anticipation is mounting for today's game, and we've got two quarterbacks looking to make an impact. It's Kaepernick's 49ers going up against Rivers' Chargers. Now we'll go down to Levi's Stadium for this matchup. And Nick Novak is set now to get this game underway. Ellington's back, ready to field the opening kick. This game is underway. Ellington's going to start his return. And he's tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. Coming onto the field, a quarterback with a huge arm who can also beat you with the run. Common Kaepernick by way of the University of Nevada. When you talk about dynamic quarterbacks in the NFL, one of the first names that comes off my tongue is Colin Kaepernick. The man is fast. He gets to full speed right away, and he has a dynamic throwing arm. The 49ers are at the line of scrimmage with their backfield loaded up. Kaepernick with the handoff. The 49ers offensive coordinator, he has to be frustrated by that play. I think he calls the right play, but what happens? The run loses yards. That's just a bad job at the offensive line. Loss of five on the play. Second and long. Going for the home run, but they can't connect. Keep an eye on this man right here, Vernon Davis, in this game. If Vernon Davis wasn't so big, you could play him at wide receiver because he has the speed of the wide receiver. And we've seen it so many times. He can take a five-yard catch and turn it into an 80-yard touchdown. That last pass incomplete, and it brings up third down. The 49ers come to the line. First down marker is at the 32. He's hit as he throws it. The 49ers put themselves in a situation where the defense has all the advantage. They know the pass probably has to go down the field on third and long, and they were ready for it. Going to look for space now. Brought down at the 41 yard line and a run back of about 13. Raised in Alabama, educated at NC State. Here is quarterback Philip Rivers. Philip Rivers, we know about him throwing the football down the field. He's very good at that, but he does a wonderful job of finding short receivers and putting the football right on the money. The Chargers snap it at the 41. He's got a wide open alley. The defense cannot give up these long runs. You have to hustle to the ball. Get a lot of people around the ball carriers to make sure they don't take short gains and turn them into long ones. Look at the signals. The D-line is all shifting down inside. They're expecting a run right up the middle. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. Loss of three on the play. The Chargers snap it at the 41. They're going to get him here for a sack. The Niners' defense making a statement early with a sack. Yeah, you always want to hit the quarterback early, get some self-doubt in the quarterback, but also give the offensive linemen some self-doubt going like, man, this might be a long day, and I think it will be. Third down. Defense respecting the deep ball, playing way off the receivers. 
Almost intercepted. The Chargers really don't have much of a chance of picking up this first down. It's third long. Of course, the defense is looking for passes down the field. They're all over everything, and the pass goes incomplete. Got it at the 13. He's brought down at the 20-yard line. And a run back of about seven. The 49ers offense now ready to get a drive going. Not something we've seen a whole lot of to this point as the punters are having a very busy afternoon of it here, Phil. Well, you know, Jim, I came into this game and I just want to see a lot of punts because that's exciting football, right? Well, that's what we've seen so far. So look, Brandon Flowers picks off that pass. Good job that time by the defense. Not being fooled, being in position. When you're in position, you have a chance to make the play. That time they did, they got the interception. The Chargers bringing their offense onto the field. It wasn't a very productive possession for them last time out, partner. They ended up punting. Well, you know what it was? It was a good filling out process. So they got some knowledge about watching the defense and what defenses they tied on them. So you've got to take advantage of that knowledge and come out here and make some plays. Nice run that time. When you run the football like this over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line. Gordon's going to secure the handoff. He's tackled beyond the markers. It's a first down. If you're running back and you want more carries, do things like this. Read the defense right, read the blocking, and pick up first downs. That's a really good job by the running back. Gordon's in the backfield. Single back set. Back to the ground now on first down. Melvin Gordon, another in a long line of great running backs out of Wisconsin. And he can certainly be the guy that is the featured back for this roster. I know this. When I saw him in college and getting ready for the draft, I thought that he is the surest thing as a running back in the NFL. He's going to come in and have success and be a terrific pro. And they get the sack. What a good scheme that time by the defense. They confuse the offense. They blitz. They don't know who to pick up. And how about the defender? They must love this. Coming in free and gets a good clean shot on the QB and gets a sack. Set up now at the 46. The Chargers in the pistol formation. Third and 12. And it's batted down. Chargers don't have a lot of options on third and long situation. The pass goes incomplete, and the defense did a good job of staying back there and not giving up the deep throw. Ellington's got it on the return. That's a gain of seven. The Chargers defense likes to come up with the same kind of result they had the last time when they had the interception. Jim, that was awesome. It's so hard this league now to get an interception because if you look at the receiver the wrong way, they'll throw a flag. So good job by the defense. Kaepernick's got two tight ends on the field for this snap. The 49ers get a first down. A foot race to the end zone. The 30, the 20, the 10. All the way home and all alone. Touchdown. The 49ers for the extra point. The point after is good. Well, we're anxious to hear the full story on that injury. Let's go down to Danielle Bellini with the story. Guys, I just spoke with a Chargers official. They wouldn't specifically say what the injury was other than it's an upper body injury that won't stop him from returning. Back to you. That return's good for about 27.
the 49ers are playing a stout brand of defense, and they have not given up a single point, allowing them to jump out into the lead. Nothing like a defense that's pitching a shutout. Boy, you're full of emotion. You're very confident in what you want to do. You want to keep it going. The Chargers now move the chains. Gordon is a great running back to have on your football team, isn't he? He goes up in there and gets the first down. Now your offense has three more chances. First down and ten. Gordon's got it on the handle. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. Loss of five on the play. The Chargers have it at the 34. And Gates has got it. And on a pass, had some heat on it. <laughs> Phillip Rivers in his bolo tie. They can do it all. How about that? But on this play-action fake, he's accurate with the throw. That's a good job. That long gain sets them up here on this play. Handoff fade. Picks up about five. He's now averaging six yards a carry on the day. I know you love this set of linebackers. Navarro Bowman, one of those right in the middle of the field. Well, he's a linebacker, Jim, that can play all three downs. Good against the run and fast enough and athletic enough to cover tight ends and wide receivers over the middle. And it's now second down and five after running it on first down. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. Rivers connects with Antonio Gates, who steps out. That's another reception, giving him two. I don't know what the answer is when it comes to guarding these tight ends now. There's just not much you can do. Uh, I'll tell you the best way to stop the tight end, rush the quarterback. That was a big gainer. Now it's time to back it up. And now here's the toss. And game, maybe four. If I'm on the defense and the offense is this close to scoring, I'll tell you what I'm doing. I am sending everybody. I am going to gamble that it is a run. If they have the courage to throw it, let them. If they do, of course, it'll be a touchdown. Second and goal at the one. Reads all over the ball carrier. This will be interesting to see how the defense plays this situation. They're up a touchdown. Will they be aggressive or play it safe? I know one thing. If they give up three points, they'll be very happy. Third and goal to go from the two. He breaks the play. He's in for the touchdown. The second quarter just barely underway. And they've erased the deficit and tied things with that touchdown. Yeah, Jim, this kind of reminds me of a chess match. It's a good job going out there tying things up. Now we'll see the strategy from the other team. Got a tie game now. Getting set to kick it off. The score's 7-7. Seven to seven. Ellington's going to test the coverage this time. The Chargers secondary could not stop the pass on the last series. Well, they were just too timid. They were giving up too much room, making some of the throws too easy for the quarterback. Man, you got to man up, get up there tight, and cover these guys closely. First down at the 30. Lines got it. Draw play. Hi, he's trying to be patient, but there is nowhere to run that time, and he only gets a short game. Second down coming up. The 49ers come to the line and they put their receivers in a bunch formation. Unable to bring it in. Got to give the secondary credit. In this passing league now, it's hard to make plays, but a good play there in another incomplete pass. Third down now. Kaepernick all by himself in the backfield for this snap. From the gun. Complete the defense does his job forcing down 
in a hurry. All set to punt here. Allen's got it at the 21. He's tackled at the 30. And a run back of about nine. The Chargers offense taking the field again. They got everything they could out of that last possession, Phil. A solid touchdown drive. Yeah, what a productive day so far for the offense. They're mixing it up well. They got confidence. The quarterback's throwing it well. This is a, a very good game so far. The Chargers will take the snap from the 30. Takes it from the eye. Reed makes the tackle. The Chargers are tied up in what's been a fun game to this point, partner. Gordon's been really effective in the first half, Bill. Yeah, the game is tied, and I'll tell you why it's tied. You said it right. The running game is absolutely kicking it, kicking it out there, and they're taking names, if you know what I'm saying. And this running back, one of the best in the NFL. Nothing to the outside, and Brooks makes the play. Chargers put themselves in a tough situation here. On second down, you run the football, and what do you do? You lose yards. Now you got third and long coming up. You got to be careful in situations like this. Everything goes into the side of the defense. Midway, second quarter. Loss of four on the play. This game has the feel of one of those old 10 7, 6 3 sort of slugfest back in the 50s or 60s as both of these defenses, Phil, have imposed their will here in the first half. You are right. That is the feel it has, and I like the way it's feeling. It's fun to watch this, isn't it? I think even you are kind of excited to see something different and fun to watch so far. That returns good for about 31. Ellington's able to show off his talent on that pump return that time. What speed and quickness that allows him to break through some of that coverage and picks up good yards. The 49ers got absolutely nothing out of their previous possession. And here they are back on the field. Another three and out, I would have to think, would be very demoralizing to this team right now. Yeah, it's going to be demoralizing to the offense, but I'll tell you who's going to be more demoralized is the defense because they need to sit on the sidelines and give a little rest. So I know there's a lot of pressure on this offense right now. And Davis has got it on a pass that had some heat. Mark him down for another reception. Second down, two to go. Kaepernick now on the move. That's a gain of six. First down by the offense inside the red zone. Can the defense show them something different here and keep them from scoring a touchdown? Kaepernick's alone in the backfield. The Chargers defense brings in an extra member of the secondary. They'll go nickel. And it's Eric Weddle who makes the tackle. The Chargers defense, they got backed up in their own red zone. But you know what? They came through that time. There's a one play. They were waiting for it. And they stopped the offense for a very short game. Coming up to the line at the 7. And we've reached the two-minute warning. First half winding down as we return from the two-minute warning. Away from the ball, there's a flag down on the field. Takes off for the end zone, and... He's got it. Touchdown. Offside. Defense. Players from both sides making an appeal, but the officials saw it on the defense. Inside of the uprights. The Chargers ready to return the kick. Picks up the football at the six. Stiff arms to stay on his feet. Tackle down at the 47. 
Well, a lot of good things happen on both sides of the football this time. How about that return by the return team? Good job, good blocking. Look at the speed of that guy running. They get the tackle from behind. They stop the touchdown. Gordon's lined up behind his quarterback as the single back. Searching for space to the right. Gordon's tackled right at the 42. He's now over 60 yards rushing on the ground. Good job by the offense going the hurry up offense. You do this to get the plays in, but also you want to conserve the timeouts. Should have had it. Good job that time by the secondary. They're in good position. They make the play, and it's an incomplete pass by the quarterback. Two tight ends on the field here. Second and ten. Reed makes the interception. Now that time you could see why the San Francisco 49ers moved up in the draft in the first round to pick Eric Reed. He has got speed. He can hit people hard. That time he read the quarterback and got there and makes the pick. The 49ers coming back onto the field on offense. They took it down the field for a touchdown the last time they had it. Listen, momentum is on their side. When you have that going for you, keep... He will not get away. He's taken down for the sack. Ah, uh, not a good job by the quarterback that time. Inside of two minutes in the first half, you got to get rid of the football. If nobody's open, just throw it away. That time, he loses yards by taking the sack. job by the offense. The 49ers just had a very dominating ground game on that last scoring drive. They picked up over 80 yards on the ground. Davis got a chance for a return. And he's out across the 20 and tackled at the 21. Here's Allen taking the field again. It's been a down day for him so far, Phil. It has. And, you know, if you want to get this team going, you want to find a way to get some momentum on your side, find a way to get the football to your star wide receiver. He's the guy that makes it happen. And if you get him the football, he can just pick this whole team up and give them a much better chance to win. and 10 coming up. Gordon's got it. Screen. Gordon's marked down at the 27. The Chargers are going to burn the first of their three timeouts right here. This is third down. Quarters formation here for the defense. Rivers out of the gun. As Allen. Ball is out. This one's going back the other way. Johnson's there to make the tackle. Good job by the defense that time, creating a fumble. And that is truly a takeaway because that hard hit took the football away from the runner. The 49ers come out for the next possession, having reached the end zone on each of their two previous drives. Yeah, it's been good stuff to watch, no doubt. You know, the offensive side, the offensive coordinator is right in tune with the quarterback to call exactly the plays that you need, need to be called because of the situations, and the quarterback has been hot throwing the football. We've reached the intermission. 
and soon we'll be sending you to Larry Ridley, who's going to break down all the first half highlights as we send it to Orlando in a moment. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Dawson ready now to get the second half started. The second half is officially underway. Keeps his legs moving. Ward's in on the tackle. That returns good for about 26. The Chargers are experiencing a little bit of a drought here offensively, having gone three straight possessions without a score. What do you think needs to be done to buck that trend here, partner? I'd say it's a little more than a drought. This is some awful offense, and there's many things you've got to do. You've got to tell your offensive line to pick things up. When the offensive line is aggressive, it gives all the stars a chance to succeed, and that's what they've got to do here. Offensive line, get it going. That is a good job. This running back, known for his speed, at that time shows a little power and breaks that tackle. Gordon's lined up directly behind the quarterback here. Rivers can't find the target incomplete. Man, the quarterback, the coaches, his teammates, everybody loves to see a player give that type of effort. How about the receiver just going all out to make the catch? Doesn't quite get there, but the effort is outstanding. Woodhead lined up in the backfield. And Eric Reed brings a halt to that last attempt. They're set to punt it away now. Ellington's not going to test the coverage here as he makes the fair catch. The 49ers offense takes the field. Let's see if this momentum can carry over from the first half because they have been brilliant to this point, partner. Yeah, a lot of things change in that locker room at halftime. You know, you, you might feel good about what you've done. Of course, you've got to realize the defense might be upset and is willing to come out here and take more chances in the second half. Flag is out. Neutral zone infraction. Defense. Defense was trying to guess the snap count, down. and it cost them there. The Chargers come out in a dime package. Quarterback likes what he sees out there outside. He's changing the play with the wide receiver. Kaepernick's tackled down at the 32. Offside defense. That's what happens when you try to guess the snap Still count. First down. Niners will take the snap from the 35. And Ochoos, the one who made the big stop. Got to give the defense some credit. On first down, there's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. The 49ers have it at the 29. Hines tackled down at the 36. He's now over 80 yards rushing on the day. They're going to the hurry. The 49ers snap it at the 36. That's a good tackle, and that's a quick three and out. The 49ers trying to catch the defense by surprise here on third and long. They go with the run, and sometimes those runs on third and long work, and you can pick up a first down. But that time the defense is ready. They tried it, and it didn't work. Allen's the one who brings them to the ground. Hey, it's one thing for the coach to call a play like this and go, go with the fake punt, but what execution by the offensive players. Job well done. Coming to the line at the 44. Here they come, back to the line after picking up over 20 yards on that last play. First down at the 44. 
Kaepernick running away from the pressure. The catch is made. And Weddle was able to bring it to an end. Good job by the offense picking up a first down there. They've been terrific all day long. They're winning the football game, and they are tiring this defense out. This play set up by the long gainer. They'll run it here. Now slashing to the right side, looking for room. Met by Flowers that time. The 49ers have turned it up a notch with their running game today, Phil. Hyde's been leading the charge on this front, Phil. And they've done it many ways. They've done it with power runs, going outside, going inside, draw plays. Everything is working for this running game today, and it's been impressive to watch. The defense got to be a little aggressive here. Your team is down. You've got to attack this offense. You don't want them to get in there and get another score. Kaepernick, 49ers, in for the score. Davis, second touchdown of the game. They're not that far from closing this game out after that touchdown here in mid-third quarter. Yeah, it's, it's, it's unbelievable. It's a dominant performance so far. That, that drive just set it off. They wanted to take it down the field, execute the plays. They did it, and the defense just let them have their way. Davis going to test the coverage here. Pro Marty's there to make the stop. That returns good for about 25. The Chargers have gone from bad to worse after an ugly first half. There's nothing here to shine in the second half either. Have you ever had a situation like this where it's just really gone all against you? Nothing goes right and you just were absolutely awful. Every week I work with you. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Bingo. Man, you smashed that one out of the park. That's a good job by the receiver running the drag route across the field. These are not easy throws for the quarterback, but he sticks it right on him for the completion. The Chargers approach the line, and they're going with their jumbo package. Keenan Allen has the catch. That pass play wasn't good for much. So now it's second down and nine. Getting set as fast as they can. Scans the field. And touchdown. And they get one pack. You got to take advantage of situations like this. Not often in the NFL do you get somebody this wide open. Good job by the receiver. Nice job by the quarterback seeing him. And what do you get? An easy touchdown pass. Nick Novak ready for the kickoff. Ellington's got a chance to return this one. Spins away from the tackle. Ellington's taken down at the 25. That returns good for about 23. The 49ers offense would like to drive for another touchdown. Only they would like to think that this time it won't go to waste and their defense might step up at some point here, Phil. Well, all they can do is just go out there and score again. Don't worry about your defense. Don't start thinking about that. Worry about your job, what you're doing on the offensive side, because what you have been doing has been terrific. Wasting little time. The 49ers snap it at the 36. Hyde hauls it in. Hyde's tackled down after a gain of 15. Now to be a running back in the NFL, you've got to do more than one thing. and You've got to be part of the pass game. That was a wonderful job. Catching the short pass and picking up all those extra yards. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. They're going to run it on the toss. Game's about three. Hi, he's a dangerous runner when you give him room to run, but there is no room this time. What a job by the defense. They bottle him up for a short game. The 49ers will come to the line trying to put together a scoring drive here in the fourth. Second and seven on the way. 
Final quarter underway now with this snap. Met by Flowers that time. Offside defense. The defense, a little jumpy right there. Nice situation here for the offense. They're winning the football game. Now they're in the red zone. Let's see if they can come up with a play that fools the defense. First down at the 18. And it's spotted away. Uh, it's a nice play that time by the defense. The offense is inside your red zone. You've got to stop them from scoring. That was a good job of swatting the football away. The 49ers set the line of scrimmage with their set of receivers in a bunch formation. He's now pushed past 120 yards rushing today. The 49ers, they can do it all. Once they get in the red zone, they have the passes, the screens. They can throw it down the back of the end zone. And how about that play? They can run the football right at you if they want to. And that time, they picked up some, some good yards on that run. Third and five coming up. For this play, they'll go with two tight ends. Trying to fight through right up the middle of the field. No time to waste. They hurry to the line. First and goal. Kaepernick now on the move. What a catch. Touchdown. Well, if you get close to the goal line, you always have to look out for the tight end because any time there's a, just a little bit of deception, that deception is enough for the tight end to get that area where he can get open. That time he does it, touchdown. The Chargers ready to return the kick. Davis has got it. Just across the 20 and tackled at the 21. The Chargers come back out. Let's see if they can answer now with a touchdown of their own. Of course, last time the offensive unit was on the field, they took it down, marched in for a score. I don't see why they can't answer. Everything is working, and so they're coming out there full of confidence. And we know football players, especially on the offensive side, when they have confidence, man, they play their best. That's his third catch of the day. They're going to the hurry up, back to the line. And they deck the quarterback. Outside linebackers in the NFL, they are such tremendous athletes. They can do everything. How about that play that time? Good move, good speed. Gets to the quarterback and gets a sack. The Chargers from the 32. And intercepted. Shakes off the hit. He's brought down. Midway through the fourth, and the mood on that sideline, Phil, has to be one of tremendous frustration as they throw the interception. Absolutely, Jim. They have to be so disappointed. They had high hopes coming into this game. We talked to the coaches. They thought they would play well. Well, this is just one of those days when nothing went right for your side. In the build-up to this game, we didn't talk much about the matchup at tight end, but it's been a good one, Phil. It has been good. I know the defenses really didn't focus on the tight end when this game was starting, but I know this, they better change their focus and start looking at it. Great starting field position for the offense. McDonald's usually a tight end, but he's in the backfield this time. The 49ers snap it at the 36. Now, cutting to the right side, looking for some open space. The 49ers have really been able to run the ball today. It's been a huge reason why they lead. Hines dominated on the ground. There is nothing like dominating a football game physically. They have overwhelmed the defense and a good job by the offensive coordinator managing this game today. And that's a game. 
Always good to have these types of runs. Yeah, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to. And also, it opens up so many other things for your offense. Now third and short following the run. Kaepernick will be taking the snap out of the pistol. They're changing things here. The quarterback changing. He's, he's giving the receiver some new instructions. Bolden's got the catch and the first. That's an awesome job by the offense picking up this first down here in the second half. They've got a big lead. It's not about scoring anymore. It's just about milking that clock. And that is an art that this team is good at. First down at the 25. Kaepernick's unable to find his target that time. Well, the quarterback that time tried to squeeze it into tight coverage, but no can do. The coverage is too good. The football falls incomplete. The 49ers come to the line of scrimmage and show a full house. The 49ers will take the snap from the 25. Bolden's there. Inside, and he's home for the touchdown. You know, I felt like I could have said this in the first quarter instead of waiting until midway through the fourth, but this game is over. It is. <laughs> you know, Jim, yeah, the way you said it is a, there's a finality to it, no question. And the losing end, the coaches, the players, they got to go back. They got to do a lot of soul searching because this was one pitiful effort. Johnson's got it on the return. And Ward's in on the tackle. And a run back of about four. The Chargers are set to take the field again on offense after a crazy sequence that didn't go their way. That turnover led to turnover points. And now let's see if the offense can get that back, Phil. Yeah, listen, I know they're going to be motivated because after they turned the football over last time, the coach will took him to the sideline. And they take him down. Grabbing the face mask. We see it almost once a week, and here it happens again. Well, a lot of times these defenders, I'll give them a, you know, a little slack because they're running so fast. They're trying to tackle some tremendous athletes in open space, and sometimes accidentally, you're going to grab the face mask. Intercepted. It's not getting any better for the offense here late in this game as now they get picked off. The frustration and the bad play just continues. And, you know, it's so bad the coach can't even yell at the players. All you can do is pat them on the head and, and encourage them to keep trying. The 49ers offense coming back onto the field. It was a good drive for them the last time they had it. All the way down to the end zone for the touchdown. Yeah, you know, this game, Jim, it's all about momentum. And when you feel you got the momentum on your side, you got to take advantage of it. So now I think it's up to the offensive coordinator to call the right plays. And now we reach the two-minute warning. Back now with this one, and time is running out here in the fourth quarter. Second and 12. Hyde is going to take the handoff now. Well, not many yards to get there on that play, but it doesn't matter. What a day and what a job this running back has, has done here. Following the run, it's now third and seven. Colin Kaepernick under center. Bush trying to power his way right up the middle. Yeah, no surprise there. You got the lead. It's late in the game. You run the football. Make that clock keep ticking. And you go over these situations so many times in practice. You've got to manage the clock. No much time you got left. They've done that well. And just keep running Ingrams all over that offense and brings him down. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. Easy, easy. 
Now he's going to change the play and look out. I think he's going to go down the field with the football. Looking long to Torrey Smith. This is a tough situation for the offense, third and long coming up, but it's a good situation also. You're leading the football game, so there's no reason to take a chance and turn this football over. The pass play fails to work, and now it's third down. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. Wide to the left. The ball is jarred loose. Makes contact with the down player, and that's where the play comes to an end. They've got the sizable lead here, Phil Sims, but the one thing they don't want to do is let their guard down and make some silly mental mistakes like they did just there, coughing up the football. You always have to be ready when you go on the field to try to think about what you're going to do. Be sharp. I think you're right. They let their guard down, and that led to that fumble. The Chargers offense comes onto the field, and even if they put together a scoring drive, there's not going to be any difference here in the outcome. Now just playing for a little bit of pride, and perhaps to try to get things going for next week. Well, pride's gone out the window. You've lost that already because it's been a dismal performance by your whole football team today. And I say this on the offensive side, don't press the issue, just get this game over with. Well, you're really in a tough spot, but that is a good job picking up the first down. You're down big in the second half. All you can do, just keep picking up those first downs. You hope it leads you to a score, and then you play the game from there. The Chargers are at the line of scrimmage with a pair of backs split behind the quarterback. Rivers, his pass will go for an incompletion this time. That incompletion by the quarterback, hey, I give the quarterback no fault. That was just tremendous coverage by the secondary player. He's in position and able to uh, make the football be incomplete. Rivers will take the snap from the gun. Takes the hit and throws. Offside defense. Players from both sides made an appeal, but the referees say it's on the defense. At the 20-yard line, and now in the red zone. Second down and five. Rivers going to try to scramble now. Jones can't hold on that time. Rivers athletic enough to get out of the pocket. That's a really good job by him. But you have to give the defense a lot of credit. They shut down all the receivers. After the incomplete pass, it's third down. Quarters formation here for the defense. Woodhead's handed the football. And that's a gain of nine. The Chargers call the timeout. They're first. The offense has had time now to game plan, strategize after the timeout, and now they're ready to go. First down here after the run. Looks like they're in press coverage here. Rivers is going to take it from the gun. Rivers over to Malcolm Floyd. And there's a timeout, so we'll take one with them. If you're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The 49ers defense now loading up, expecting pass with a dime defense. Allen can't bring it in. That will probably go as a drop. Bill, before we go, how about this win? How much will this one count? You know, Jim, all wins are nice. This one was done easy. You didn't have to sweat too much over it. You feel good, and you just enjoy the next couple days.
for Phil Simms and all the crew, Jim Nance saying so long.